Hey everyone, in this Hogwarts Legacy how to use potions video, I'm gonna show you how to use potions and also what each potion does. Um, so the, to use the potions, all you need to do, down the bottom left-hand side, you should see a little button just to the left of a little icon. So if I hold that for me, that's LB. So that'd be L1 on the PlayStation. And this gives you access to this radial manual here. And if you've got potions, they should be sitting along here. And to use one of these, all you need to do first of all is put it in your hot slot. So for me, I use the right stick to pop the potion in a hot slot, such as this Thunderbrew. And then when I let go of the LB, so it says release LB to equip, it's then sitting in that hot slot just below me. And then if I want to use that potion, I just press LB rather than hold LB. So that's how I will use the potion. So now we're going to go through what each potion is, and I'm also going to show you them in action. So if we go back to here, the, the sort of different potions we have, there are six potions, five are accessed here, and one is your healing potion that's accessed a different way. So let's just talk about these first. Invisibility potion, so this turns the drinker invisible. Um, and it doesn't last very long, it only lasts four seconds, but it can get you out of trouble for bits now and again. But for anything longer than that, um, you're better off with your disillusionment spell. Uh, Thunderbrew is a really cool one. This creates a storm around the drinker and it stuns and damages nearby enemies. Uh, this one reduces the spell cooldowns for 15 seconds. This one, Maximum Potion, increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. 20 seconds like you can see there and this one a durus potion uh, enhances the drinkers defense by covering them with a durable rocky skin so i'm going to start with that one and just show you how that works um, so we'll go into the um area here and just uh have a little battle with some of these um, bandits that we've got around here and just show you how these work so the first thing we'll go with is this Adurus. Okay, so this is going to protect me a little bit. So I've got it in the hot slot. I press LB to drink it. And now if you look at the potion, it's gradually counting down um, as this is protecting me. And I've got that kind of um, protection around me like you can see here. That was meant for me. So uh, I'll just do a bit of battling while we're doing that. Waiting for that. So that's that one, so let's flick to a different one. So we'll have a little look at Maxima now. So this is gonna increase my spell damage. So we'll pop that in and press LB to fire it out. So what we're gonna see now is all my spells are gonna be more damaging. Look at the increased damage there. And again, we've got this cooldown period. This is gradually going down um, as I'm using various spells to just fry everyone. Um, so we've got another one there. So this one's nearly out of the way. So let's have a little look at another spell. Uh, focus potion this reduces the spell cooldowns so we'll pop this into the hot slot and fire it out and then anything that I use here so for example this look how quick the spell charges back up in my spell slots it really is fast so that means you can fire out your favorite spells very very quickly um, for the period at which that focus potion is active so it's a pretty cool potion as you can see there um, so we've done quite a lot of the uh, sort of area here um, but what I'm also going to do is have a little look. There's a couple of enemies over here because we haven't quite finished with our potions. Uh, so we've got Thunderbrew, which is one of my favorite ones, which I'll show you up here. Um, Thunderbrew creates a storm around uh, yourself. And as you wander near enemies, uh, what it does is it starts damaging them. So it looks really cool as well. So we can just run around here and look, you get zapped uh, as I'm running about with this Thunderbrew potion. So indeed, you can just do damage without doing much at all. And you can see it's got quite a nice cooldown. Um, it goes on for quite a while. And it may well just destroy our enemies without us having to do every, anything at all. Which is exactly what happened there. So a couple of other things that we need to cover. First of which is the invisibility potion. Now this only has a four second usage. So it's really, really short, but I'll show you it anyway. So this just like um, disillusionment, it, just makes you disappear but for literally four seconds and I'm also going to talk about how you can make things a little more powerful when you unlock talents as well uh, let's just have a little look in this chest this is the point about doing bandit camps you unlock uh, various traits which you can use to upgrade your gear later on I think there was uh, another enemy because there's one other thing I would like to show you let me just see if I can find one more enemy yeah there's some up here the last thing we need to look at is how you use your Wigan Weld potion, which is your healing potion. So I think there's some chips just over here. Are they up or are they down? There's some up here, that'll do. 
Here we go. So as they hit me, look at my green bar bottom right. There you go. So you see my health is dropped. Um, if I hit down on the D-pad, that uses a Wigan Well potion. Your Wigan Well potions, as you can see there, uh, show us 20 on that green bar. And uh, as you use them up, of course, that, that number is going to go down. So we'll just have a, a final bit of damage here and have some more fun with these potions. So, so sort of going in more quick condition so you can see even though I've applied another potion the first potion is still running as well so you can see now you can use simultaneous potions and if you want to see how long's left you just look in that other bar so I don't think there's any problem with having all potions active at the same time and there we go that is how po how to use potions inside Hogwarts Legacy <laughs> so you can see we're looking pretty fearsome now and uh, our thunder brew will calm down in a minute but Look at that, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> so hopefully that was of use to you. If it was, thumbs up please, much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you want to know how to make potions, I'll have a separate video up on that. Um, but yeah, potions are pretty cool in the game. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, uh, have a little look at the other videos at the end of this one, and a little subscription would be much appreciated. Thanks so much.